good to see you guys. I just finished up doing uh, a show called the Beer and Backy Show. And uh, what it is, those guys are, are coming to uh, Nashville. Did anybody watch that on uh, Google Hangouts there a second ago? Hey, Rick. Anybody uh, watch that? Are you coming over from uh, watching that? I was just on live with them. They're, uh, they're a group of guys that, um, that s sit around, they talk pipes, they talk tobacco, and uh, you know they, they have some special beers and everything that they talk about. But uh, tonight we didn't do any of that. We just talked about the Nashville Pipe Show over there and pipe making and, and all that kind of thing. So I thought I would show you uh, some of the pipes that I've got ready for the Nashville Pipe Show. I have seven so far. And uh, still working on it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Puffin562. Appreciate that. Uh, I have here my case, a Joe Case case. I thought I would show you some of the pipes here that I've done. Some I've, I've already shown you, but I thought I would show them again. And some that I've already finished. Some that I've already shown you probably. Uh, this cool poker with that big piece of shank extension acrylic there that orange and black on there and the stylized uh, stem on there thank you very much uh, got this uh, little Dublin that it has the uh, faceted or diamond cut if you like to call that rustication with a ring of Bacote on there and stylized stem as well uh, here is um, a devil ants smooth finish flush fit with the uh, tapered stem on that and that stem material is just insane love that little pipe uh, let's see here which one okay this one I don't know if I've shown you this one or not there's one that kind of has a uh, I don't even I don't, can't remember I've seen this style before I thought ah, I gotta I gotta make something like this and decided to add some rustication touch to it there. Uh, I mean, uh, sandblast and sandblast on the top as well. Smooth around the inside and the slightly bent stem on there. Okay. Um, you know, this is one of the original Dagner designs. Jason Dagner designed a couple of pipes for me to make for him and he let me, uh, sell them and they've been I've been selling them for a long time now and here's one of the original names it looks a little different than the very first one but got a sleepy hollow poker here that I'm gonna have um, at the show look at that stem on that and that beautiful piece of acrylic there that was that's great you can see the, the funnel shape in the airway on the inside right there and you can see some of the grain peeping through it. Uh, Mark Macon and Jeff Silver Shadow got me one time. Say, I used to make this. It was just solid black. And he said, you ought to make it where you can see the, the grain through it. So I did that. Um, this one is called the Matador. It's got some bamboo on there. Stylized stem as well smooth top it's got sort of a um, mad hatter rustication pattern to it on there that smooth rustication that i have thanks for the hearts by the way uh but the bamboo real bamboo it's not fake bamboo uh, the real stuff right there so that one's going to be available too and then i just finished today a church warden with that special fine rusticated look, kind of a leathery look. Got the smooth top, a little angle bevel look to the top, and the same thing kind of repeated here at the end of the, the shank. And there'll be a church warden available there. So those are the seven pipes that I have so far in my case, ready to go for the Nashville Pipe Show. And I certainly hope that uh, you're going to be able to, to come and join us. It is a, a week from this weekend. It's amazing. 
uh, that it's finally almost here. It's just unbelievable how time has uh, flown right into this show. We're hoping everything's going to be ready <laughs> for for the show. Everything is looking really good. You can see the list of who all's coming on our website, NashvillePipeShow.com. And I think we have 40-something uh, vendors and pipe artisans now who are, who are coming. Uh, there may be a couple of others squeezed in at the last minute. Uh, but and and lot and several of those have multiple tables, so it's not like only forty something tables. There's there's several of them have got a lot more tables than just one. I just a lowly little pipe maker me. I've got one table. So, but for ten pipes, I think that's gonna be that's my goal is to have like ten pipes there. So that's what I took to Chicago, and uh, fortunate, very blessed and fortunate that I I sold out in Chicago. Uh, all but one pipe sold by noon the first day, and then that last pipe sold, actually sold the day before, but the guy came back and finalized it the next morning. So I was honored and blessed to sell out uh, there in Chicago, and keep my fingers crossed, hopefully uh, we will in Nashville and uh, a lot of other pipe makers I wish for the same, same thing. We got a lot of people who have signed up to come, well, it starts, uh, opens up at 10 o'clock in the morning and goes till 5 o'clock, I think, 5 or 6 o'clock uh, in the evening. But that's just the, sh the actual show and sale itself. The Friday night before, there's a pre-show meetup kind of thing. I was describing it on the Beer and Backy show earlier. What, what that really is, is we kind of went back to our roots on the first show that uh, I put together. And, uh, and it was, in large part, a YouTube meetup, which we also happened to have pipes for sale. And, um, and it was called the Music City Pipe Show and Sale, I believe. Yeah, that's what that, that picture is right back there. It's a, it's a Music City Pipe Show and Sale. That was a, a framed print that I got from AJ, uh, AJ Brockman. Uh, church war, uh, stash warden, as many of you know on on YouTube, and uh, he's a quadriplegic that does art and graphic design and stuff. He's amazing, amazing. Um, so um, anyway, we did that the first year, and it was in large part a, a YouTube meetup. And last year, it it sort of was, but um, the guys who were doing it last year kind of took it in a little bit different direction. So, uh, and, and they didn't want to do it this year, so we picked it back up again and doing it this year, and we thank them for their hard work, uh, whatever, for, for last year. But this year we said, you know what, we want to go with the original vision. Uh, I kind of had this original vision that I wanted to do a uh, Nashville show that would rival the Chicago pipe show. And uh, so in, t in, in order to do that, we had, had to be all in. You had, you had to have... Uh, artisan pipe makers, handmade pipe makers, uh, you had to have uh, production pipe companies, you had to have tobacco industry people, you had to have tobacco related uh, like pipe stand makers or whatever, all in. Anybody can, you know, if it's related to the pipe industry somehow or the other, you know, you could come in and, and, and get a table. But we are so looking forward to seeing those of you who are coming if you haven't gotten your ticket yet and you're going, I'm coming, but I haven't got my ticket, or I should say registration, your admission registration. We're not sending tickets out, okay? You're, you're registering your admission by going to NashvillePipeShow.com. It's $15, and what you do is you'll get a receipt back in the, in the uh, email that says you've done that. You bring that receipt with you, or you can bring a, uh, a valid uh, photo ID because we've got everybody's name and and addresses and everything. So uh, that's how you get in. You'll get a wristband to go in and come and go as you please. And we did this on purpose. We we didn't do the whole weekend uh, for everybody mainly because Nashville is such a cool place to come visit now that for people from out of town maybe it'll be your first time here. Uh, we're going to give you Sunday to be able to go do whatever you want to do. Uh, the Nashville Convention and Visitors Bureau is in every bag has got a real nice booklet that's going to be in there with a fold-out map of Nashville. What we're doing is encouraging people to 
go do it. I know there will be groups of people that decide to go together as a group to do something. That's that's great. We leave, we're leaving Sunday open so you can experience Nashville. I hope to see you guys and uh, everybody who can at the Pipe Show coming up on the 25th and 26th of this month. So have yourself a great night. God bless you all. And we'll catch you next time. <laughs>